What's going on everybody, welcome back. So I wanted to just give you guys a little tutorial on how to use RoboForm. It was a little bit confusing to me when I first started, but within a couple of minutes, I was just good to go. It's pretty easy to use, honestly, despite how outdated it may look. This is the RoboForm editor. So once you download it, by the way, if you haven't gotten RoboForm yet, there is a free plan and you can try out the premium plan for a month for free. But if you're looking to eventually buy RoboForm, be sure to check the link in the description down below it'll give you about a 50 percent discount which is 20 percent more than the 30 percent that they usually offer and you'll also find a full review below if you're looking for that as well if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it here let me just teach you guys how to use it so once you download the roboform editor i think you also get a prompt to download the chrome extension so go ahead and just download it to your extension and then this is the extension right here or rather this is the interface within the extension the extension itself is right here yeah with a lot logins and everything. So yeah, actually, this is the interface within the web extension. The extension itself is right here. And you just click on it. And again, you know, you can use one of the three, either the web extension interface itself, like you can just go into it, or you can use it from here. And finally, you have the editor that you can use. But basically, the first thing that you want to do once you download the RoboForm editor is go to import and import everything from your browsers or your previous password managers. Once you do that, everything will be integrated, including your bookmarks and your logins. You can even save contacts and safe notes. If you go to Security Center, it'll tell you everything that you need to change, all the reused passwords and all the weak passwords. And you want to get this to 100% if you want to make sure all your passwords are secured. Or at the very least, you want to make sure that you change the passwords of the accounts that matter most to you. You can use a password generator and have RoboForm just remember everything immediately. And you can add logins simply by just going to any website and once you get to the login area as it'll say here to create a new login simply navigate to a website enter your username and password and submit login roboform will offer to save a new login for the site so you'll just get a prompt to save that login basically super easy and once you want to log in all you need to do i'm not going to click here because it's going to reveal my personal information but what you can do is also just use the extension let's say i want to log in to let's just say twitch right so i'm going to go to let's say Twitch here, I can just click it and it logs me into Twitch and it'll basically take me there. So the cool thing about this is that you can use it on any browser and you'll be able to log in. But of course, you do need the premium version so you can get the web access. But you can try the free version again for one month for free. And in order to continue, you'll have to subscribe. So again, here's the little discount for the subscription. Now, one more thing I want to show you besides that is um, if you go to identities. This is one really cool feature. So you can add an identity and then within that identity, you, know, you create a person and you can create multiple identities here with different information, different addresses, credit card, bank account, business, passport, car, and custom information. You know, if there is like a specific box here that is not available or is not covered, you can simply create one. So if it has to do with marital status, you can put it here and you can put what you want RoboForm to answer for you when it detects a box, a web form that has anything to do with marital status. And other matching strings is just to train RoboForm to recognize other phrases that may be used to ask about your marital status so that you make sure RoboForm detects it when it comes across a form that's asking about your marital status. So it's a really cool feature. And again, you can save passwords for your logins, accounts, streaming accounts, applications, you have all the bookmarks as well that are going to be integrated from your browser and of course your logins and if you ever want to change the name of any of these you can just simply hit right click on any of these and you'll be able to change it so let's say you want to change it from the roboform editor right here you have all the options to view edit rename move clone you can pin it or even share it or send it to people sending is just sending it like a one-time kind of access and as far as sharing it you can even share entire folders with all these logins within them to people of your choice. And that's about it for the tutorial. If you guys are interested, again, in RoboForm, you'll find a full review down below as well as a discount. Besides that, I hope you found this video helpful. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.